and we're back. <laughs> hey. Oh, you mean for the match cards? So yeah. The match, so the match cards I found on the WWE website, but normally they also have a poster. Like for the last one we did, which was Bash in Berlin, we had all the match cards, but then like the official poster was that one of just Gunther looking like immaculate. By the but way, if there's you not seen, one with bad blood, so if you have not seen the match card with Liv and Rhea with Dom in the back, happy to be in a cage. By the way, they just... updated that because that wasn't there until that stipulation got read this week. But what That's me and Professor so are going to do now is we are going to talk about our predictions for bad blood, which is this upcoming Saturday on october 4th there will be a review of this on october 6th on a monday so i'm excited Which i hope to be here my show might be in tech but i hope to be here we'll figure it out we will figure it Ugh. out for sure if not I'm, I might be pulling some folks to help me with this we'll see what happens but we have five matches currently scheduled and the fifth one was just made on smackdown this a couple of days ago but we're gonna go in order of how i put these if i were booking the show this is where i would put everything but then again i don't work for the company so uh the internet you could tell me that i'm wrong but we huh. shall begin what i think should opening up bad blood which is damian priest versus finn balor this is one of the two terror twins match we are getting for bad blood Rhea and Damien had a decisive victory over Dominic and Liv at Bash in Berlin. But for the last couple of weeks, Judgment Day has been beating up Damien and Rhea. So now Damien finally gets his hands on Finn Balor, the person who cost him his championship at SummerSlam. And Professor mentioned this at the very beginning of this review. I think this is going to be a night for heels. So I am picking Finn Balor to. Yeah, I have Finn as well. I'm thinking I'm going to lean heel heavy on this one just because that's what it looks like they want to do for Bad Blood. I do really hope we see Finn the Demon. I don't know if that's like copyright in some way or since that since the cage match with Adam Copeland, formerly known as The Edge, was in there. I, I wonder if that was pseudo retired after that or if they really want to go to that place. I would love to see Finn go there and just decimate Damien, yeah. which would just be remarkable. I think it's going to be a hooker by crook type of thing, but we'll we'll see. I think it's Finn. I think it's Finn. I would love that more than anything. So we go on to our next one. So again, if I were booking this, the next match we would have, and this is what the professor was talking about. Look this at that. Is Look at the for, Photoshop on that. Right. <laughs> this is for the Women's World Championship. Liv so Morgan funny. defending her title against Terror Twin number two and Mommy Rhea Ripley with Dominic Mysterio suspended above the ring in a shark cage, as we can see. That's so good. So if how do I put this nicely? Because I don't want to insult our fandom. But anybody who has any sense of like good logical storytelling brain power, as soon as they heard Dominic Mysterio was going to be locked up in a cage, it's like, okay, somebody else is going to help Liv retain this yeah. championship. Right. I don't think it. And some people are like, oh, I guess the rest of the de Judgment Day can't. I don't think it's the Judgment Day. I think this is where we get the return of Miss Raquel Rodriguez because she and Liv were a tag team and Rhea yeah. in storyline took her out. And so then it's going to go to Rhea versus Raquel, which honestly, I'm kind of looking forward to that match down the road. I don't hate two, that either. Yeah. Two powerhouse mommies about to go at it. But I have Liv Morgan retaining her championship. I don't think Rhea is getting this title back until WrestleMania. I think you're right. I think they're going to let this slow burn for a while. I think they're going to let Liv run, which rightfully so. She should have a shot at this. And she's doing great as heel champion, stirring the pot and making everyone interested. I would love to see that return. I think that would be a lot of fun. That would give them somewhere to go. This is kind of a prop bet. I Something's going to happen to him in the cage. I don't know what Dom's going to do. Something's going to happen to Dom in the cage and make it really weird and interesting. I don't know what. I don't know if the cage <laughs> falls. He, he gets caught while trying to escape the cage and he's just hanging by his underwear like ultimate wedgie move. <laughs> Some... <laughs> Full cartoon. This is a prop bet, but I think something happens to Dom in the cage and it gets very interesting. I don't know what though. And a fun fact, according to WWE, the last time we had someone suspended in the cage during a match was seven years ago when we had Enzo in the cage when Big Show and Big Cass were fighting each other. Wow. That is how wow. long. Wow. Really? Yeah, which is wild. Wow. 
and how much has changed with all three of them in the last seven years. My big goodness. cast is now large William and AEW big show is like running ROH behind the scenes. And Enzo is doing Enzo things on the independent scene. Man, I haven't been able to check in on that other promotion. I hope large William's doing well. We'll talk afterwards. <laughs> oh no. Keep going. Okay. So, <laughs> I mean, we both have Liv Morgan retaining here and I'm sure yeah. Minnie also has Liv retaining, but we'll see. So next up, this is the most recent match that was made on this past Friday night SmackDown for the WWE Women's Championship. Nia Jax will be defending her title against Bailey. This is easily. So I want to say this. Nia is going to retain. I almost put in a bonus question as like a bonus point and a prop bet. Does Tiffany cash in here? That's what I was going to say. I do think it's Naya. Is this where they make Tiffany do it? Hmm. Yeah. Is this is where Tiffany pulls the trigger to cash in and take the championship from Naya, especially since Naya put her hands on Tiffany on Friday night SmackDown this past week. I think yeah. they, I think we might allude to it. I, I think I don't want to say we have another botched cash in because we've seen that so many times, but I think something happens here. Tiffany's involved in this somehow. Mm -hmm. I don't, because it doesn't make sense. Bailey wins. Tiffany cashes in, takes it from Bailey. And it does make sense that Naya retains as tired. Tiffany comes in, but I would think you'd want to save that for a bigger thing. Right. So I'm kind of torn on that prop bet. Oh, absolutely. But I have Naya retaining and who knows Tiffany may or may not cash in, but Naya is as far as the match is concerned, Bailey's not winning this. I love you, Bailey, but no, Naya, we just got this title on Naya. We're not giving it back to you anytime soon, but yeah, we'll see. She, we'll she's going to be a great, she's on her way to being a great heel champion. So I think it's going to work out. It definitely will for sure. So next up in what, where I would put our semi main event it would be Roman and Cody tag teaming against the bloodline, which is going to be solo Sokoa, Jacob Fatu. I went back and forth on this one. Like, honestly, I could not decide. And I'm, I'm still not necessarily sure about who is going to walk out of here because in my eyes, you have a lose-lose situation. You have the bloodline losing, which we can't have solo lose more so than he already has. And, you know, Cody and Roman losing is also very not great either because they're like the two big folks. When it comes to the WWE right now. And I'm like, what do we do with all of this? But ultimately, I sat with it. I thought about it for a little bit. And I can't believe I'm about to say this. And it goes against every fiber of my being. But I'm going to go with the bloodline. I feel like they have to win this one. You think so? Ooh, I think so, too. Interesting. So that is where I lie with all of that. I am going with Solo and Jacob Fatu. Okay, sure. I'm going to go Cody Roman just because I think they're going to use this Cody Roman to either make the turn or start the drama with Kevin and RKO. I think Fatu takes the pin because he's the only one of the four that it makes sense to take the pin right now, especially if it's him v. Roman at the end and Roman comes back to take out the werewolf that's been, you know, unstoppable and then runs into the Roman reigns or whatever. I think Cody and Roman might be an okay tag team together. They might play it up a little bit. Like we have miscommunications and we don't understand and we don't know. We don't work well together because we don't train together. I think they'll do enough to get over these two. I do think we'll have the automaton. How are they involved? How do they get involved thing and angle? I wonder if Kevin lets Cody get beat up by him. If we do something like that, and then we have that sort of story from there. I think Roman's there to pin Fatu. We'll see what happens. I'm usually wrong, but we'll see. So this is the first pick where we dissent a little bit, but it's going to make it more interesting. I will say that many did pick Cody and Roman as well. So I'm either going to pull out a flawless victory or I am going to end up losing this one, but that is okay. Yeah, but we're kind of a coin flip on this anyway. So, so. <laughs> Well, the other match that is also kind of a coin flip and what I think should be main eventing is our Hell in the Cell match between yeah. CM mm -hmm. Punk and Drew McIntyre. Mm -hmm. Again, this can go either way for me. 
This is the third and the rubber match, so to speak, in this trilogy that we've had between Punk and Drew with their whole entire feuds. If I'm going to be honest, I think I'm going to go with my gut here. I got to go with Mr. Chicago himself. I gotta, I'm got i going with CM Punk on this one. I feel that there is more to Punk winning this match than Drew winning this match because I feel like Drew will be fine either way. But I think Punk winning should be the good call. And then you have Punk go after somebody. And then you can have Drew come in later down the line and they can revisit this. But for now, I think Punk should win this one. And I'm going to go with CM Punk on this one. I think you're right. I, I see that as well because Punk had so much time off. We're now doing a best of three. I think Drew's going to be fine. Drew can feud anybody after this. Take some time off. Move on from this. Unless Drew, unless we're going to do that best of seven thing I was talking about, and we're just going to have them fight for all eternity, this should be the one that we talk about. And at the end of the year, this has that potential. I know a lot of folks give in CM Punk grief for his cardio and being an older guy, and I get it. Drew's still right. in his peak, still in his prime, can do pretty much anything. They work pretty well together. That that last match with the traffic lights, I'm forgetting all about it, was <laughs> was a blast to watch. And they they have each other's cadence and sense of humor and all that stuff. Right. So I do we think though that ooh, do what do you happen? <laughs> I think you know, I think we'll show it. Now, if they decide to go grayscale and we kind of mad, I'm like, this is not television. It is okay. I, I think they go for it here. I think if you're gonna if you have a whole PLE called bad blood and you don't we're laughing at you like come on folks <laughs> you can't i said that's a good call daniel i i i feel like they'll do something oh absolutely for sure but that does bring us to the end of the card we have for bad blood bad blood is this saturday october 5th and we will be reviewing it on monday october 7th so it'll be myself mini Probably the professor, and I'm also working on, in case that doesn't happen, finding somebody so we don't have a repeat of Royal Rumble from this year. <laughs> Just you by yourself? <laughs> Me by myself talking about it, but that we'll is call okay. Nick. We'll get Nick in there, too, if Nick's available on a Monday. <laughs> like, hey, For, there will be people to review Bad Blood, myself, Minnie, and you know either Professor or somebody else. But before we go, I've got to do a little bit of housekeeping.